वेलकम एवरी वन टू डे सिक्स ऑफ टेन डेज ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ओके सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग द टॉपिक्स लाइक क्लासेज इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट इनहेरिटेंस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्लासिकल इनहेरिटेंस एंड प्रोटोटाइपल इनहेरिटेंस ओके सो गाइज बिफोर डिस्कसिंग ऑल दिस लेट एस सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लास वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इन ई एस सिक्स बिफोर ई एस सिक्स इन ई एस फाइव Uh, if you want the same behavior like classes, we can use function constructor. Function constructor. Let us first understand what is function constructor and prototypal inheritance through code. Then we will dive into class and classical inheritance. Okay. So let me code the function constructor. Okay, so guys, what I have done here is I have simply created a function constructor. Okay, so it is also normal function, but in function constructor we have our f capital. Okay, first letter capital. Okay, so what I have created is two variables, fruit and color, and one function. Okay, and uh, like normal functions we call them like simply by their name and the parentheses, but function constructor for this we have to create object. Like we have to create it for class, okay? And I've simply passed mango over here, and then what I've done is I have simply called the function associated with uh, fruit. Okay, let us see what the what is the output that it gives. Okay, so as expected, we got mango is yellow. Okay, so guys, this is back tick and dollar with parentheses. Uh, it is actually template literals that I have discussed in one of my um, video. So if you want to learn about this you can uh, check that video okay so guys um, there is a one drawback okay so you know every time we are creating this object okay the function this function over here gets recreated okay every time we are creating the object okay uh, every time we are creating this object uh this get info recreates this function okay so uh so that is the drawback internally okay because it's not necessary that we are wanting this function every time for each and every object so fortunately how we can avoid this is with the help of prototype prototype property okay prototype is the property that is um you know available in every function in javascript okay and by default it is empty so if you want to add any method or any property you can simply attach it to the prototype and it will be accessible to all the instances of that function okay so let us see how we can do this okay we have our function okay let me just copy it down 
okay i will not making it like this and what we can do is we can simply do fruit dot prototype okay and to this prototype we can attach get info okay and now we can write our function over here function and console dot log okay cool now guys i think you have got an idea so let me change it for you the name of the fruit apple okay look we got the same output okay so this is the way that we can achieve inheritance okay uh, through prototype this is known as prototypal inheritance okay 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 guys there is one more thing that i would like to show you okay so if i do something like console dot log and if i do like uh, this object dot has on property okay uh, by object dot has on property uh, you can check the property associated with any function or object okay so any object so uh, so let me pass here get info okay so guys in this case uh, we should be getting a false okay let's see okay so good now here we are getting false so this now that means that now we, when we are creating our object okay so every time our function is not created okay but we can definitely access it now let me do one thing now now it should give us true because now it yeah now because now that object has that property okay that's why we are getting true so i hope this thing is clear so this is our prototypal inheritance now let us see the concept of class okay guys now let's create one class uh, rectangle suppose okay not like this rectangle okay so in class we have to give constructor okay and the properties that we want to access here like uh, i will take length and breadth okay okay so guys uh, we have created object okay as we all know uh, like let object is equals to new class name okay uh, in javascript we do not create object like class name then object's name is equals to new class name okay in javascript we simply create an variable and then simply new uh, class name and then we can pass the values over here okay so now our object has been created let's console our object and see what we can get okay yeah console dot log okay so guys uh, in javascript we don't get we do not get like you know uh, the object as class name at the rate hexadecimal code okay so please don't compare it with java uh, in javascript the object is normal object uh, that is rectangle with breadth and length so guys this is our uh, class okay this is our class in javascript 
okay uh, you can also create any method if you want like uh, uh, like after constructor you can also create any function okay like if I want to do is like get area okay simple simple function here uh, when we are using function with class we do not have to use function keyword okay and console dot log this dot length into this dot breadth okay and now what we can do is we can simply access that get area method and we can call it okay so guys we got 200 cool okay so this is how we can uh, make any function also now let us also see one example of inheritance okay so i hope we all know what is inheritance okay inheritance is simply a method by which uh, one class one class or one object can access the properties of another class or object okay so uh, in javascript we perform inheritance with the help of uh, extend keyword okay so okay so it is sim uh, simply a let us see another example for inheritance inheritance okay what we can do here is we can simply uh, create a class okay okay class animal and we can constructor okay so guys here we are here we have our subclass dog that is extending animal okay so that's why our name property will be accessible to dog class also now let us create uh, let us create the object okay so object let us first create the object for um, animal okay and let us see what we get animal and I will be giving here okay let me give let me give here cat okay and 
uh, not cat let me give here human okay so object one dot speak okay cool okay so what we got here is human speaks okay so this time we have called uh, we have made this object for our parent class and so the speak function that got involved is of parent class okay now let us make another object okay uh, object to new let new dog and this time uh, okay and this time let me pass dog okay so cool so i hope we can see uh, the concept of inheritance okay uh, like first i have called it for i have called the speak function for the parent class and then i have called it for child class and child class can also access the property name with the help of extend keyword okay so guys there are much more concepts like uh, um, there are much more concepts like super keyword also you know you can also uh, you can also like uh, you can also study super keyword how to use super keyword in javascript uh, okay so uh, so my motive was to just uh, make you understand the concept of class okay and uh, the concept of class and what is the difference between classical inheritance and prototypal inheritance uh, it is one of the most famous interview question okay so i hope it is clear okay so during um, like you know uh, like in es5 we you we were using function constructor okay and the class it has been introduced in es6 okay and what is the difference between classical inheritance and uh, prototypal inheritance it is that classical inheritance is achieved with the help of first of all classes and extend keyword okay uh, and prototypal inheritance uh, we generally we use uh, like uh, functional constructor okay and what we do is we make the use of prototype property that is available in every function in javascript okay so if you want to attach any method or any property we can simply attach it to the prototype it will get accessible to all the instances associated with that function okay so so guys if you have liked this video so do uh, so do support me by subscribing to my channel and by giving lot 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 many likes and sharing my video thank you guys